So when he was diagnosed with cancer, I, it shook us all to the core. And I was not really sure how we were gonna be able to do this because Tate had just gotten through having open heart surgery at Le Bonheur. I had cancer. Now the whole family was like, okay, well, here we go again. In February of 2023, Max started having headaches. We ended up going to the emergency room where they found a tumor in his sphenoid sinus. And we were at Le Bonheur for about five days before he was officially diagnosed with Langerhans cell histiocytosis, which is also called LCH. And in March, he started a one-year journey of cancer treatment at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. An old friend of mine from high school contacted me and said that he had affiliations with this really cool nonprofit called Cancer Kickers Soccer Club that supports kids going through cancer with soccer gear and other really cool opportunities. And he asked if he could nominate Max, and I said, absolutely. In March of 2024, this year, March 6th actually, was Max's last cancer treatment. And right after he was done, we ended up going to the 901 FC jersey unveiling. And it was really incredible. I, I knew that the soccer community was like super supportive of each other, but to see it in person and to be the recipient of it, because it wasn't just Max, but our whole family was really incredible. Being a part of Cancer Kickers, I believe is bigger than the sport. It's bigger than, you know, everyday jobs. And uh, just being able to see the kids smile every day is something great. When Max joined the Cancer Kickers soccer club team and he became a teammate, they sent him this really cool box with jerseys, this amazing soccer bag, a soccer ball, these cute little flip flops for him to wear to and from soccer practice and all of this really cool gear. I was so overwhelmed with happiness when they got that and here I am thinking, wow, how many more children are gonna be getting this too throughout the world? And when they get this, I, they're gonna have the same reaction, if not a better reaction. Every time we look at our jersey and we see cancer kickers on it, it gives us a little bit of motivation, um, not only for ourselves, but to be able to see those kids and just see how they grow every single day. The team is so supportive. And I, I didn't know what to expect, but having these young men be so supportive of my boy is something that I think every mother I mean, it just makes my heart swell. That they have these role models that they can look up to that play soccer here in Memphis, supporting them, supporting our city, representing our city, I think it's, it's incredible.